Hello and welcome back. Okay, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna talk into an audio recorder and you're just gonna watch me swim. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five simple tips that I recommend in order to improve your swimming. Summer is just around the corner, outdoor pools, beaches. It's time to put on a swimsuit and get your groove on and get a workout. Here are my five tips to help you swim better and improve your swimming much, 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 much faster than the rest of the people out there. Well, the first tip is to swim in the evening time. Okay, so morning time usually at a pool is reserved for experienced swimmers so they do the lap swims in the mornings from like 6 a.m onwards but you don't want to be competing with experienced swimmers they're too intimidating and they're gonna throw you off okay so the best time to swim is in the evening time when all the lessons have closed for the day and the pool is a lot more chill and relaxed so you notice that most of the people have gone they've left they've taken their kids away from the swimming lessons so the pool is all to yourself most of the times and sometimes if you're really lucky you'll have a whole lane to yourself during the evening so monday to friday try to pick an evening time around say 8 pm to 11 pm or what whatever time your local community pool closes and devote those one or two hours in the evening to just doing laps okay so that is my first tip swim in the evening not in the morning it's for lap swim swimmers not in the afternoon that's usually for seniors and not in the late afternoon or dinner time that's usually for kids and their swimming lessons evening time monday to friday avoid the weekend that's family day so swim in the evening during the weekdays second tip bring a large ass bottle of water okay swimming is a workout okay so to compare swimming i would say the closest thing is like running on a treadmill if you're running on a treadmill for hours, you're gonna get thirsty. You're gonna need breaks. You're gonna need some downtime to chuck some water down. So don't drink the tap water that's available at your community pool or nearby. Grab a large bottle, fill it up with filtered water and bring it to the pool. Just bring a large plastic container like I do and just rest it on the side against the wall. And whenever you finish uh, doing a, a lap session, just uh, take a break, get out of the water and just chug some water. The body needs water. You, you, you're going to overheat, you're gonna get thirsty and you're going to be chugging down chlorine water if you don't feed your body filtered clean water, okay? So bring a large ass bottle of water every time you go to the pool. My third tip is to wear jammers, okay? so. When you go to the office, you wear a suit. The suit puts you in game mode. It puts you into that serious let's do business mode. If you're wearing flip-flops and shorts to the office, you're not gonna have that same kind of mentality, that mode, that attack mode that you get. And the same goes for a pool. If you wear like regular board shorts or just baggy shorts, it's not gonna put you in the right frame of mind, okay? And jammers is like putting on a suit. When you put on a suit, you feel like you're in business. And the jammers, you know, they're tight for a reason and they're going to help you swim a lot faster. They're not going to drag you down like board shorts or baggy shorts do. So if you're a guy, wear jammers. If you're a woman, wear a one piece suit like you see out there. And if you're looking for a recommended uh, types of jammers, I've put a link down below this video. You can check it out. Click on those links and you can get yourself a pair. Right? I like wearing jammers. It puts me into that lap swimming mode. If you're wearing board shorts, it's going to put you into that leisure mode. You're just going to play around in the pool like the rest of the public does. And you're not really going to get a workout. And that's the goal of going to the pool, to work out, not to play around for an hour or two. That's a waste of time. My fourth tip to improve your swimming is to treat the pool like a gym. When you go to the gym, you're going to spend about an hour or so and you're going to get a really good workout in right you don't go to the gym and expect to just fool around and just sit around and chit chat for an hour or two and not get a good workout in same thing goes for the pool don't be tempted like the rest of the public does and goes into the pool relaxes in the sauna waddles in the water just sits chats with the local public no that's not you you are supposed to get into the pool work out for an hour and get out that's your workout. 
You're gonna burn your calories when you swim, just like when you get on the treadmill. Make a plan. Set some time, at least like three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example. Spend an hour in the pool in the evening time, and you're gonna write down your goals. So just like when you go to the gym, you say, okay, I'm gonna do chest today. I'm gonna do four sets of 12 reps at this weight or whatever, right? Same thing goes for swimming. You're gonna say, okay, today it's Monday. I'm gonna to go to the pool at 8 p.m. I'm gonna finish at 9 p.m. I'm going to do at least 10 front crawl and 10 breaststroke and at least one lap of butterfly. That's my workout. And I'm not gonna leave the pool until I accomplish these three things. Okay, so that is the mind frame you need to set yourself into. You have to set goals and then gradually increase your goals. So once you do 10 laps, try to do 11 laps, try to do 12 laps of front crawl. Try to do 13. Try to get your laps under a certain amount of minutes, like do one lap under 30 seconds or something, right? Set goals so you can increase the, the amount of laps or you can decrease the time that's involved in accomplishing a certain amount of laps. Finally, the last tip that I can recommend for you guys is to bring a smartphone to the pool. You can grab like a, a simple waterproof case or if you have, you have a waterproof smartphone, that's even better. If you want the cheap mode, just grab a Ziploc bag and just put your smartphone in there, okay? Seal it up and then bring it to the pool. You need to film your swimming, okay? You need someone to monitor what you're doing. If, if you are at the stage where you're just learning how to do front crawl, you're learning how to do breaststroke, you're learning how to do butterfly, you're learning how to go from one end of the pool to the other, or you're trying to increase the number of laps that you do, you should always be monitoring yourself, your progress. So, for example, you bring a smartphone to the pool with a Ziploc bag on top, and then when you're ready, you go, you politely ask a patron or a lifeguard to say, please, could you film my swimming? I just need to see what I'm doing wrong. And nine times, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, the person's gonna say yes. I mean, they have lots of time. They have nothing else to do but swim and relax. That's what people do. So don't be afraid. I've asked so many people to hold my smartphone and my camera and film me while I swim because I'm always looking for that edge, how to get better. And you should be too. Okay, so always film your swimming. Myself, these days I use a GoPro Hero 5 session, okay? And it's a little camera that I use that I can put underneath the water. It's waterproof, it's great. And the footage that you're looking at right now is all taken from the GoPro Hero 5 session. So if you want a really professional camera that you can, you're not afraid of putting it in water, then go get that one. And I put the link down below for you to purchase your own GoPro. Okay, so those are my five tips. And uh, yeah, if you have any more tips that you can recommend uh, others, please leave them down below. Leave a comment, like and subscribe this, to this video, and I will see you in the next one. And please let me know what you'd like to learn in the next swimming video coming soon to a YouTube video near you. <laughs> By the way, check out my website, 7dayswim.co, if you want to learn some more swimming lessons absolutely free you don't have to sign up just take a look at the start uh, start here section and I have videos there on that site that go more in depth on how to start swimming if you're a complete noob or if you just want to learn some extra tips or if you just want to get into the, the having get better at swimming check out those videos check out my ebook check out my online course it's all there 7dayswim.co I hope to see you there and my name is Justin Patrick see you later